In this video, we'll be describing the webway connectivity and integration for the DSC Power Series 1000 range of alarm panels, specifically the setup for SEER format alarms and remote service over IP. Auto Take On should have already been run. For more information on Auto Take On, please see the relevant video guide. To connect the webway to the panel, a special cable with four way connector is available from Webway 1. This emulates the DSC T Link module and allows connectivity via RS232. Connect the 4-way plug to the panel as shown. On the webway board, connect the red wire to the RS232R terminal, the blue wire to the RS232T terminal, and the green wire to the RTN terminal. On the keypad, firstly enter the installer code to enter into engineering mode. The keypad will then show enter selection, enter 015 to go into the menu. Toggle option will then show with eight symbols below it. If number seven is displayed, press seven on the keypad to remove it from the display. Exit with hash and then go into menu 301. On this screen, make sure it's set to DCAA followed by all Fs. This adds T-Link to root calls to. Exit again and go into 302. In this case, ensure the display is set to all Fs. This clears all possible phone numbers. Exit once again and now go into menu 350. The keypad should display enter data and this needs to be set to 04. This sets alarms to be reported in SEER. Exit again and go into menu 380. Toggle option will show with 8 symbols or digits. If the number 1 is not displayed, press 1 to add it to the display. This enables the system communicator. Similarly, in menu 381, check the number 3 is not displayed. If it is, press 3 to remove it. This disables automatic SEER codes. Now go into menu 382 and ensure the number 5 is displayed, pressing 5 if it is not. This enables T-Link communications. Very finally, go into menu 401 and ensure the number 1 is displayed. If not, press 1 to add it. This enables UDL communications to the DLS application. Escape out of the menus and exit engineering, the configuration is completed and you should be ready to test alarms.